My name is Chuck Rosak, and I am Vice Provost for Graduate Education and Academic and Faculty Affairs. And I would like to welcome you to the 18th Annual Graduate Awards Ceremony. Thank you for coming today to honor our graduate students and the faculty recipients of the John S. DeKoff Awards. I look forward to this event every year since it gives our academic community an opportunity to recognize the contributions of so many individuals who make this university a special place to work and learn. Before we begin the award ceremony, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ben Vincent III, Provost and Executive Vice President, who will present some opening comments. Ben. Thank you so much, Chuck. Well, uh, welcome again to the 18th uh, Annual Graduate Awards Ceremony. It's really terrific to see so many of you here. Uh, also, uh, some, some of you with family members, some of you with, uh, with your faculty. Uh, it, it, is, it is truly wonderful to, to have a gathering like this to really recognize and to celebrate uh, your excellence, uh, your journey, and everything that you have brought uh, to the university during your time here. Uh, today, as, as Chuck mentioned, we also uh, recognize the John S. Decoff Award uh, for Excellence in Graduate Teaching and Mentoring. And these members of our faculty are, are truly special individuals because they actually represent the best of us in, in many ways. Um, and I am certainly privileged to count them among our peers here at, uh, at Case Western Reserve Universities. So uh, my remarks today will be brief, but I, I do want to just pause and reflect uh, an additional moment on the journey that you've been on, really an odyssey, if you will. The degree uh, is a mark of a new beginning in university life, uh, those of you receiving your degrees. It is a milestone, uh, and it, milestones together uh, create and represent and symbolize uh, a journey. Uh, the various milestones that I know that you've, you've made along the mark to getting this particular uh, recognition that includes obviously your tests, uh, the exams, uh, the experiments, some of you who are in, in the experimental sciences, internships for those of you, uh, for, those, uh, who have, for, that, for, for that particular experience that's been important, the research experience, the final exam, and then graduation. But the journey that we undertake as graduate students, while it's a special journey, what strikes me is that as we move through these milestones, as we move through the graduate experience, we often don't pause enough to take stock of the full impact, uh, our impact uh, on our communities as we engage in these journeys, the impact of what's happening to us and our transformational change as we are embarking upon the journey, we don't always pause to reflect on what it means for us. We don't always register the depth and range of accomplishment that comes with our progress along this ladder of the university. We don't always stop to see how we repeatedly transcend the frontiers of teaching and learning that we receive as students. But today is certainly one of those moments. We're gathered here to acknowledge and to celebrate your excellence and accomplishments, your contributions. And in today's act of recognition and in celebrating you, we are simultaneously looking toward your future. This is a future filled with promise because we know that your education has only intensified your passion. At Case Western Reserve, you've heard this often. We strive to inspire innovation, creative thinking and entrepreneurship, social justice and citizenship, and overall, our humanity. The essence of who we are is manifested in the awards that you are about to receive today. And in this moment, I, all of us in administration, all of your faculty, all of our community, could not be more proud of what these awards represent for you, for us, and for our university. Congratulations. Thanks, 
Thanks very much. Thank you very much, Ben. It's a pleasure to have you here as part of this ceremony today. Um, before we begin the presentations of awards, I would like to extend a special welcome to some, st some distinguished guests who have joined us today. Raghu Balakrishnan, uh, the Dean of the K School of Engineering. Ron Hickman, Associate Dean for Research in fr at the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing. Carol Musil, Dean of the Francis Payne Payne Bolton School of Nursing, Marvin Neiman, Vice Dean for Graduate Education at the School of Medicine, Dexter Voison, Dean of the Jack Joseph and Morton Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences, and Joy Ward, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Thank you all for being here today for this, uh, the presentation of awards. We will now begin those presentation of awards from the college and the schools at Case Western Reserve University. Departments in the College of Arts and Sciences. Presenting the awards from the Department of Art, History, and Art, please welcome Alina Gertzman, Director of Graduate Studies, Director of Art, History, and Art, Archbishop Paul J. Hallinan, Professor in Catholic Studies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, our first prize, I'm afraid, we have to begin on a very sad note. The Doris Young Hartsock Prize for Excellence in Arts Education and the Hazel Gibbs Herbeck Prize for Outstanding Talent and Accomplishment in Art this year were earned by the same student who tragically passed away. But we wish to posthumously honor Simone Perry. Now. Our next set of awards, they're generously sponsored by the Friends of Art, and they are to honor one Master of Arts student and one PhD student for best papers, as well as the best overall performance by a PhD student generally given to that student's last year at the university. It is my pleasure to announce the Friends of Art Best MA Paper Award for this year, which is awarded to Caitlin Jones. The Friends of Art Best PhD Paper Award this year is awarded to Reed Armera. <laughs> and the Friends of Art Best Overall Performance by a PhD student is awarded this year to Lauren Smith, who could not attend the ceremony, but who will certainly appreciate your applause. <laughs> Thank you. Presenting the awards from the Department of Biology, please welcome Christopher Cullis, Interim, Direct, Interim, Interim Department Chair of Biology, Francis Hobart Herrick, Professor of Biology. Thank you. Um, the first award is from the Department of Biology is for the most outstanding paper in biology by a graduate student, and it goes to Russell Engelman. Our next award is the Joanne Weston Distinguished Graduate Student Teaching Award. This was named after Joanne Weston, who was a longtime faculty member, also um, worked in the Dean of Stu Undergraduate Students Office. And this year, the winner is Ellen Evans. And it's a particular pleasure to, to give it to her because she did TA my course for a number of years, amongst many others. Congratulations, Ellen.
And the final award is the Paul, J. Paul Visher Memorial Award of the Cleveland Audubon Society, which recognizes a student for their outstanding ability and promise in the field of ecology or environmental science. This year's, wor this year's winner is Will Huffmier. To present our next awards, please welcome Joy K. Ward, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. Good afternoon. This is an amazing event to celebrate all of our phenomenal graduate students here at Case Western Reserve. I have the pleasure of presenting awards from the Department of Chemistry and the Department of English. The first award from the Department of Chemistry recognize the contributions from graduate teaching assistants. The following students will receive the Graduate Teaching Award in Chemistry. Anshola Mondel. Desiree May Prado. Evan Van Orman. The next award is the Charles F. Mayberry Award for Best Thesis in Chemistry. The winner this year is Luis Ortiz Rodriguez. The final award from the Department of Chemistry is the Dimitru and George D. Matiescu Graduate Student Citizenship Award, which recognizes graduate students who demonstrate devoted and distinguished service as a role model to the graduate student community of the chemistry department. The winners this year are Emmeline Degado Rosario. Sarah Springer. And Ming Yang. Next, we will move on to the Department of English. The first award from the Department of English, the Neil McIntyre Prize, recognizes the best scholarly paper written by an English department graduate student. The winner of this year's award is Charlie Erickson. Charlie Erickson is also this year's winner of the Timothy Calhoun Memorial Prize for Poetry for the best poem or group of poems by a graduate student in the Department of English for his poem, Make It Love Poem. Presenting the awards from the Department of Dance, please welcome Karen Potter, Professor and Chair of the Department of Dance. Thank you, Provost Vinson, for being here today. Thank you, Chuck Rosick, Dean of the School of Graduate Studies, for all you do, and to all of the personnel in the School of Graduate Studies for all you do and for today and all the time for all of our graduate students. It's very appreciated. It's my pleasure to present two awards today. 
The Edna Raphael Award is to recognize a woman who is a very strong supporter of our dance performances in Mather Dance Center. She especially enjoyed seeing the growth and the development of all the dancers over the years as she got to see them perform. And in our MFA dance program, students can focus on both performance and the art of choreographing works, choreography. So the Edna Raphael Award is to note, uh, distinguish those students who have demonstrated excellence in performance. And today's awards go to Mary Elizabeth Finn. <laughs> who has her son with her. <laughs> Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you. Hey, Quinn. Hey, hey Quinn. Hi. <laughs> and also receiving this award is Ting Yu Zi. Ting Yu, I think it's here. The second award I'm presenting today is in the name of Catherine Karapides. And the scholarship was established by Catherine Karapides uh, and through the Cleveland Arts Prize, and it is administered through the School of Graduate Studies. And it's offered to a student to participate in, uh, in continuing their studies by attending modern dance workshops, contemporary dance workshops. So Catherine Karapides was the director of dance here at Case Western and had a long distinguished career at Case Western for 42 years. And she retired from the university in 1998 as the Samuel B. and Virginia C. Knight Professor Emerita of the Humanities. And then she served as associate provost from 2003 to 2009. She continues to be very active in the community, both the dance community and the Case Western community, serving on advisory boards, both for Kelvin Smith and for the Floristone Mather Center for Women's Community Advisory Board. This year's recipient of this distinguished award is Joel Lundbeck. Well, I'm not surprised that he's not here because he has a final presentation of his final choreography project at 5.30. He's probably in the studio. <laughs> Thank you. Presenting the awards from the Department of Psychological Sciences, please welcome Heath Demery, Professor and Chair of the Department of Psychological Sciences. It's a wonderful privilege for me to be able to honor some of our fantastic uh, graduate students in psychological sciences who've really just produced wonderful contributions during this past academic year and, and beyond. Uh, the first award from the Department of Psychological Sciences, the Diversity, Culture, and Community Award, is given to a graduate student who demonstrates a passion and commitment to clinical work, research, advocacy, or community service in diversity and culture. The recipients this year are Jenna Bagley and Elsa Matson. We'll go Jenna Bagley first. <laughs> and Elsa Matson. <laughs> Our next award, the Donald K. Friedheim Award for an outstanding contribution to clinical service is given to students who exhibit superior clinical skills, clinical sensitivity, and rapport building during therapy placements. The first winner for this year is Kathy Benhamu. And the other winner this year is William Shute. The Ethan Schaefer Assessment Ward 
Award is for excellence and expertise in assessment as evidenced by conducting outstanding evaluations and writing comprehensive reports and or doing an excellent job as a lead teaching assistant in the assessment course and or making a real and or making a real contribution in the assessment experience. The first recipient of this year's award is Chelsea Day. The other winner of this award is Alexandra Piedra. The Jane Kessler Award for Commitment to Scholarship in the Field of Disabilities is given to a student in the Developmental, Cognitive, and Affective Sciences PhD program who has demonstrated scholarship in individual differences in cognitive or affective development and or disabilities research. The winner this year is Amanda Murner. I know that Amanda is not able to join us today, but hopefully she's looking at this online. <laughs> The Joseph F. Fagan III Award for Research Excellence is awarded to a student who demonstrates a passion and commitment to research excellence. This year's recipient is Ellen Dornberg. The Master's Research Excellence Award is awarded to a student in their second or third year of research excellence that has the potential to have an impact on the field. The winner this year is Stephanie Gomez. The Morris Parloff Award for an outstanding contribution to clinical research is for a student whose research builds on or, establish, uh, or challenges established theory with findings having direct implications for clinical practice. This year's recipient is Alexandra Piedra. The Perseverance Award is awarded to a student who shows persistence and determination overcoming obstacles and delays during their graduate training. The winner of this year's award is Eleanor Beal. will make this easy, and the Sarah Kane Spinagle Graduate Student Award for meritorious service to the clinical program, field, or community is awarded to a student who actively and proactively participates in the clinical program and department events, and who, is a strong, who has a strong working relationship with the department and broader professional community as a leader. There are two winners this year, and the first being Eleanor Beal. And the second award is to Ellen Dornberg. Thank you very much. Presenting the awards from the Department of Music, please welcome David Rothenberg, Associate Professor and Chair of the Department of Music. We'll keep this quick. Uh, the Department of Music gives the Adele Heinrich Award to a student who has demonstrated excellence in musicological research. The winner of the award this year is Christopher Jenkins.
present our next awards, please again welcome Joy K. Ward, Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences. The final awards for the College of Arts and Science is the Eva Pankhost Memorial Fellowship. These awards are presented to women identified undergraduate and graduate students in arts and sciences program to extend their education by international study and or travel. The graduate winners of this year's fellowship are Victoria Duffy. Sierra Grabowska. Lauren Hodgson. Christina Jame. Sarah Laven. Angela Lenard. Marina Mandrakova. Morgan McCommon. Amanda Murner. Dominica Rollins. Jordan Taylor. Sam Truman. Jacqueline Yarman. Congratulations again to all of our College of Arts and Sciences award winners. We will now present the 2022 awards from departments in the Case School of Engineering. Presenting the awards from the Department of Biomedical Engineering, please welcome Andrew Rollins, professor in the Department of Biomedical Engineering and member of the Case Comprehensive Cancer Center's Cancer Imaging Program. My pleasure to represent the Department of Biomedical Engineering as we honor some of our outstanding graduate students. The first award from the Department of Biomedical Engineering is for excellence in departmental or external service. This award recognizes current graduate students who have served the department or participated in external service activities in an exceptional manner. The winner this year is Victoria Laney. The Award for Excellence in Graduate Teaching Assistantship recognizes a current graduate student who has shown excellence in a TA position in the 2021 to 2022 academic year. Students receiving this award demonstrate diligence, punctuality, 
and initiative in the performance of their teaching assistantship duties in addition to patients and support towards their students. This year's award goes to uh, Colin Nicolescu. The following student is recognized for their excellence in mentorship, serving as an outstanding formal or informal mentor to others in their lab or classes. The winner this year is Naomi Joseph. <laughs> the Outstanding Graduate Career Award recognizes PhD students who exhibited overall excellence throughout their graduate career, including performing outstanding research, publishing high quality manuscripts, delivering engaging and high profile talks, and demonstrating leadership ability. There are two recipients of this year's award. The first is Mohammed Hadi Korhami. The second recipient of the Outstanding Graduate Career Award is Ruchika Verma. The award for Outstanding Master's work is presented to Jiwei Liu. The final award this year from the Department of Biomedical Engineering is the Outstanding Publication Award, selected from faculty nominations by the BME Graduate Education Committee. This year's award goes to Amog Hirama. Presenting the awards from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, please welcome Bill Yu, Professor and Chair of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Um, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm, I'm pleased to announce um, representing our uh, faculty of civil and environmental engineering for the following uh, award recipient. So the first award uh, is the Civil Engineering Student Leadership Award. Uh, this award was recently established by the department faculty to recognize students who demonstrate excellent leadership to department student organizations. So this year's award recipient is uh, Rodrigo uh, Schussler. Hi. 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 Um, under uh, the capacity, uh, Rodrigo served as uh, uh, president of the Department of Civil Engineering Student Graduate Student Organization. Uh, even among pandemics, they organized a lot of activities uh, for scholarly exchange and also for some fun time uh, at a lot of different occasions. Yeah, congratulations, also thank you. Um, the next award is a Craig Miller Memorial Award. This award is uh, uh, awarded to a graduate student in civil engineering uh, who have shown outstanding academic achievement. Um, we have three students stand out uh, from the faculty deliberations. Uh, so this uh, include uh, Yidan Gao. Um, Luke Traverso. Um, and also Kai Zhang. Um, uh, the next graduate student award is a uh, Kenneth Hyber Award. Uh, this award is uh, awarded to an uh, outstanding graduate student in civil engineering. Uh, we also have multi award recipient for this year. Uh, the first one is uh, Quan Huang. Um, 
uh, this, uh, uh, and then the second one, uh, Christopher Namely. Okay. Or oh, maybe I need to make a uh, clarification. There's no ranking <laughs> in this award category, just, uh, just by name. Okay. okay. Thank you. Congratulations. And uh, uh, Weilan Li. Um, the final award from uh, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering is a Roy Harley Prize. Uh, this award is uh, awarded to a, a promising graduate student in civil engineering. Uh, we also have three recipients based on faculty recommendation and deliberations. Uh, Yu Sen Zhang. Mohammed Minhaj uh, Rahman. Um, and also uh, Zed Suleiman. Awards from the Department of Computer and Data Sciences, please welcome Vincenzo Liberatore, Professor and Associate Chair for Graduate Affairs for the Department of Computer and Data Sciences. Thank you. Um, it's a special honor for me to present the Outstanding Dissertation Award in Computer and Data Sciences to one of our best students. We welcome back to campus, Wu Yuan Cheng. Uh, congratulations. Um, our second award is for uh, outstanding graduate uh, research, and uh, it goes to Seran, one of our uh, best students. He has been here for four years, and he has uh, published uh, five impressive papers, including um, receiving a Best Paper Award in a top com um, computational biology conference, as well as in Nature's Communications, and uh, that is uh, Seran. Thank you. Presenting the awards from the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering, please welcome Charles Rosick, Vice Provost for Academic and Faculty Affairs in the School of Graduate Studies. The winners of this year's Graduate, teaching, graduate Student Teaching Award is new this year, and the inaugural, inaugural winners are Clayton Jackson, And Joshua Smith. <clears throat> the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering Graduate Research Award is in memory of Yangzhou Zhao. This year's winners are Nicole Graff. Mark Nandor. He's here. And Emily Sabo. Congratulations again to all of our School of Engineering Award winners.
And now Chuck Rosick will present the Weatherhead School of Management Award winners. Okay. The Sherman Grinnell Scholarship is presented uh, and awarded to, PH, to a PhD student in organizational behavior with a specific purpose of helping their, them in their post-qualifying stage to conduct high quality research through support of direct research expenses, including data collection, data analyses, and related research expenses. Sherm Kempter Grinnell earned his BS and master's degrees in mechanical engineering at MIT and a PhD in organizational behavior at Case Western Reserve University in 1967. He served in several administrative and faculty roles at the Case Institute of Technology, including as an associate professor in engineering and organizational behavior. When in 1968, the Case Institute of Technology merged with Western Reserve University, he became a full-time faculty member in the organizational behavior department. Sherm taught organizational behavior at all levels and particularly enjoyed gu guiding doctoral students. His research centered around organization simulations. He developed Org Sim 1, a day-long experiential organization development workshop. The winners of this year's award are Erica Johnson, and H. Michael Schwartz. See him. Okay. The Don Wolf Scholarship is the Department of Organizational Behavior's premier award to doctoral students specifically to facilitate completion of the dissertation and graduation in a timely fashion. The award is a tribute to Don Wolf, Emeritus Professor of Organizational Behavior. Don was a professor in the Department of Organizational Behavior for 38 years, chairing the department for five years. During the turbulent period of the merger between Case Institute of Technology and Western Reserve University in 1967, he played a vital role in the creation of the Organizational Behavior Department at the New School of Management. He continued to be sought out as a facilitator for advanced personal growth labs at the NTL and continued to publish consequential research articles. Don contributed to launching several significant research and teaching projects in collaboration with other faculty in the department, including the Spencer Foundation grant on the study of adult learning and development, the Sigma GEM initiative on global society change, a redesign of the PhD in organizational behavior program, the creation of the Master of Organizational Development, now MPOD program, and the launch of the Professional Fellows Program at the Weatherhead School. During his years in the department, Don served as a chair of 79 dissertation com uh, committees in the PhD in organizational behavior and served as a committee member on another 80 dissertations. His students have gone on to do innovative and meaningful scholarly work across the world. The winner of this year's award is Erica Johnson. Congratulations again to our Weatherhead School of Management award winners. And now to present the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences Award winners, please welcome Victor Groza, Professor and Chair of the Department of Social Welfare. It's my pleasure to announce that we have three winners for the Aeroshack Dissertation Award uh, for scholarship in the area of social work, social welfare. The first winner of the award this year is Kylie Evans. The second recipient of the award is Tyrone Hamler, who cannot be here this afternoon. Thank you. 
And the third recipient is Faye Angela Wang. Congratulations again to our Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences award winners. And now we will present the awards from the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing. To present the award from the Dean's Office, please welcome Ronald L. Hickman, Jr., Associate Dean for Research, Center for Research and Scholarship, and Ruth M. Anderson, Professor in Nursing Program. Good afternoon, and I first would like to congratulate all of today's award recipients. It is my pleasure to announce the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing's Dean's Legacy Award recipient. The Dean's Legacy Award is for an outstanding achievement and contributions to the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing and our community, exemplifying the legacy of academic excellence, service to the larger community, and the capacity for leadership and innovation in healthcare. This year's winner is at Sataporn Nayo Myart. At, at Sataporn couldn't be with us. She's likely joining us via live stream from Thailand. Thank you. Presenting the awards from the University Center on Aging and Health, please welcome Carol Musel, Dean of the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing. Good afternoon. I am particularly pleased to have the honor of presenting the Marie Haug Student Award from the University Center on Aging and Health from the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing, which is presented to a graduate student who has, present, who has distinguished themselves in the studies of aging. And it's particularly my honor because Marie Haug was one of my mentors. And the winner of this year's award is Christina Heinrich. Christina. <laughs> Um, we also have Gage Blair. <laughs> Charnisa Bullwire. <laughs> Pushan Dahal. and Ethan Rawson. Congratulations to all the winners. Congratulations again to all of our School of Nursing Award winners. And now we put, will present the awards from the School of Medicine. To present the awards from the Department of Anatomy, please welcome Andrew Crofton, Assistant Professor and Director of the Anatomical Gift Program in the Department of Anatomy. It's my pleasure today to present the Herbert S. Stewart Memorial Award for Academic Excellence in Anatomy. Herbert S. Stewart was a member of the Western Reserve University Medical School class of 1921. After completing residency, he opened an office for radiology. In his spare time, he volunteered for the Department of Anatomy and eventually became a faculty member. He was appointed a lab demonstrator in 1923 due to, uh, and held that position until his untimely death in 1928 due to an accident in the course of his investigative work in x-ray technique. A fund was established by his medical associates and personal friends to establish a, quote, memorial of his work and life perpetuated as far as possible in the department he loved best, anatomy. 
Since that time, the Department of Anatomy has annually conferred the Herbert S. Stewart Memorial Award for Excellence in Anatomy to one or more worthy students. The first award was conferred to a medical student, Bert Held, in 1929. In the 1960s, a PhD students were also considered for the award. Since 2002, two students have generally received the award, an MS in Applied Anatomy and a joint MD-MS student. Selection is based on GPA, performance in core courses, and other academic contributions and achievements. The MS in Applied Anatomy winner this year is Zachary Frank. The M MDMS award winner this year is Evelyn Trong. To present the award from the Department of Nutrition, please welcome David Ladowski, Graduate Program Director of Systems Biology and Bioinformatics and Assistant Professor in the Department of Nutrition. Hi, I'm here to present the Graduate Service Award for the Systems Biology and Bioinformatics Program. Um, it's given to a student who's done more than, than, than is expected of her, and so I'd like to present the award to Philippa Lopez. To present the awards from the Graduate Education Office, please welcome Marvin Neiman, Vice Dean for Graduate Education and Associate Professor in the Department of Pharmacology. It's an honor to be here to recognize our master's and PhD graduates for exceptional research and scholarship in the programs in the School of Medicine. The Charlotte E. Smith Award in Public Health Nutrition is given to a student who demonstrates outstanding academic performance in public health nutrition, actively participates in furthering the mission of the department, and possesses the potential for success in chosen fields of emphasis. This year's winner is Ava Daly. The following awards are for master students who exhibit excellence in an academic field, the Academic Excellence for Masters in Biomedical and Health Informatics goes to Jeffrey Kovac. <laughs> the Academic Excellence for Masters in Biostatistics goes to Leila Hojet. The Academic Excellence for Masters in Genetic Counseling goes to Alexa Weiss. The Academic Excellence in Bioethics, Medical Humanities goes to Gabriella Francesca Dubunco. The Dep Department of Bioethics Student Educator of Excellence goes to Shruti Narayan. The Herbert S. Stewart Memorial Outstanding Anatomy Educator Award goes to Renal Contractor. Sarah M. Joffrey. And Anthony Habib Rahawi.
The Academic Excellence Award for Masters in Pathology in the Healthcare Track goes to Raiba Bayezid. The Academic Excellence for Masters in Pathology in the Research Track goes to Lauren Riley. The final award for a master's student in the Excellence in Graduate Teaching Award in the Department of Pathology is Harry Hoffman. The first doctoral award is the Arthur F. W. Hughes Award in Developmental Biology. This recognizes outstanding work by a student in developmental or reproductive biology. This year's winner is Nicholas Brian Sarn. The Lester O. Krampens Research Award for Best Predoctoral Research is presented to PhD students for outstanding research in PhD programs in molecular biology, molecular virology, or cell biology. This winner is uh, Zachary Taylor, Troyer, I'm sorry, Zach Troyer. <laughs> the next set of awards are the Doctoral Excellence Awards are now in their 13th year. These awards recognize and honor outstanding scholarship and service among our graduating PhD students in various fields of biomedical sciences. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Biochemistry is presented to Fan Liu. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Biomedical Engineering is Yi He Liu. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Clinical Translational Science is presented to Olivia Hogue. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Epidemiology and Biostatistics is presented to Alina Masika. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Genetics and Genome Sciences is presented to Kevin Cameron Allen. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Molecular Medicine is presented to Lucas J. Osborne. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Neurosciences is presented to Heath Larson Robinson. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Nutrition is presented to Elizabeth Rachel Marie Zunica. The Doctoral Ex Excellence Award in Pathology is presented to Julie Zhao. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Pharmacology is presented to Tana Mangosh. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Physiology and Biophysics is presented to Nitish Rana. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Systems Biology and Bioinformatics is presented to Jessica Scarborough. Mm -hmm. 
It is an honor to recognize these outstanding PhD and master's students and the impressive achievements they have earned during their research career at Case Western Reserve University. Congra congratulations again to all of our School of Medicine award winners. And now to present the awards from the Center for International Affairs, please welcome Alec Jacobatis, Business Systems Analyst of International Student Services. Hello and thank you. It's a pleasure to be here on behalf of the whole Center for International Affairs. We're proud to be here and very happy to help honor so many outstanding graduate students. I'm here to present our Global Citizen Awards, which are awarded to some of our top international students for their many accomplishments and many achievements here at the university. The first award we have is the Elise Lindsay International Graduate Student Award. This is for an international graduate student who exemplifies talent, perseverance, courage, and a desire to make the world a better place through inclusion, research, teaching, care for others, and betterment of the university of community. It is named for a longtime director of the Office of International Student Services and my first boss when I started working here on campus. This year's award winner is Priyanka Suresh. Next up, the Spirit of Service International Student Award. This is for a student who has served the campus community in volunteer capacities with vigor, devotion, and an unshakably positive attitude. This year's award winner is Taylor Ernst. And finally, our Unsung Champion International Student Award. This is for a student who has been involved in a variety of activities to enhance the international student experience and a sense of community on campus, but has not necessarily held formal leadership positions in organizations on campus. This year's award winner is Swara Yadav. Congratulations again to all of our Center for International Affairs Award winners, as well as all of our 2022 award winners from each school, department, and center. We thank you for your hard work and dedication. I would also like to extend my congratulations to uh, all the presenters in the college schools, and congratulations again to the student winners. We now come to the awards administered by the School of Graduate Studies. To present the first award from the School of Graduate Studies, please welcome Jen Brown, Director of the Office of Graduate Student Life. I've been taking pictures, so clearly I can't do both at the same time. Make sure I see you after, thank you. <laughs> Um, the next awards are those administered by the School of Graduate Studies. Our first award is the Graduate Student Appreciation Award, which recognizes graduate students that make a difference on our campus and or the Cleveland community. Winners of this award are nominated by faculty, staff, or students. And there's a photographer now, good. The winners of this year's awards are Estelle Archibald. <laughs> Vija. Bashu. Sorry, I lost my heart. Um, Pradesh Chura. Alexander Day. Thanks. Taylor Ernst. So Lynn Wing. Marisol Issa. 
Kristen Kay. Mercedes McBride. Sean McCormick. Vivek Saraswat. Priyana Shu. Actually, it's Shu Reese. I'm so sorry. And Catherine Wilcox. To present the next awards from the School of Graduate Studies, please welcome Naylin Venkat and Catherine Wilcox, graduate student co-chairs of the steering committee for the inaugural three-minute thesis competition at CWRU. A uh, three-minute thesis is a globally recognized competition held at over 900 institutions across more than 80 countries. The purpose of the competition is to teach graduate students to effectively communicate their research to a lay audience. Each competitor has three minutes and a single PowerPoint slide. CWRU held its first competition earlier this year with 23 final round competitors. The winners of the three-minute thesis competition, Case Coulter Translational Research Partnership People's Choice Award are Farah Gaw, <laughs> Zoe Sekionda, and Priyanka Suresh. The winner of the three-minute thesis competition, Ville Institute for Entrepreneurship, third place prize is Yi Fan Chen. <laughs> the winner of the three-minute thesis competition, Science and Human Rights Coalition, second place prize is Derek Wong. And finally, the winner of the three-minute thesis competition School of Graduate Studies first place prize, who also represented Case Western Reserve at the 3MT regional competition at the Midwest Association of Graduate School regional competition in Milwaukee is Christine Smothers. present the remaining awards from the School of Graduate Studies, please welcome again Charles Rosick, Vice Provost for Academic and Faculty Affairs in the School of Graduate Studies. Our next award is the Graduate Dean's Instructional Excellence Award. The award is presented to graduate teaching assistants in recognition of providing outstanding instruction to the students of the university. It presents academic departments with an annual opportunity to honor graduate students who have shown exceptional skill and dedication to their work. It is also a way for us to stress the importance we place on the undergraduate experience at Case. By recognizing quality at another key point of student contact with this university. The winners of this year's award are Casey Albitz, Jason Deffling. He's here. 
Helen Evans. Sean Hahn. Pooja Katuja. Sorry. <laughs> Julie Polsonelli. And Camilla Ring. Okay. All right. Our next award is named after Lenore A. Cola, Associate Professor Emerita of Social Work at the Jack Joseph and Morton Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences and former Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. I understand that Lenore is par uh, participating via a uh, live stream, so hello Lenore, we wish you could be here today. During her time as Dean, Dr. Cola implemented numerous changes in graduate studies that increased services provided to its constituents. She also mentored graduates, the Graduate Student Senate members, encouraging them to give back to the university community and become more actively engaged in the life of the university. Dr. Cola's efforts resulted in a very active Graduate Student Senate that leadership team serves their fellow graduate students on many different levels. In recognition of Dr. Kolo's contribution to the graduate student body and the graduate student senate, the School of Graduate Studies established the, the Lenore A. Kola Graduate Student Community Service Award in 2006. This annual award is presented to a graduate student actively engaged in graduate student organization and is in recognition of their service to the university community. The winner of this year's award is Evelyn Evans. <laughs> Our next award is the Ruth Barber Moon Award. The Ruth Barber Moon Endowment Fund was established in 1992 to annually award graduate students on the basis of academic promise, leadership ability, and financial need. As alumni of Adelbert College and the School of Graduate Studies, Mr. and Mrs. Moon have shown a lifelong dedication to academia and leadership in education as public school teachers through their civic and their generous support of the university. The winners of this year's award are Sarah Balzer, Adrian Bedell, Paulina Emoshakina, and Amanda Murner. The last award from the School of Graduate Studies is named for Richard A. Zadonis, Provost and University Vice President Emeritus and Professor Emeritus of Physics. Dr. Zadonis served as Case Western Reserve University's Provost from 1988 to 2000. The Richard A. Zadonis Research Fellowship is presented to a PhD student in recognition of their research creativity and its contribution to the student's field of practice. The winner of this year's award is Brooke Jesperson. Thank 
congratulations again to all our School of Graduate Studies award winners. Our final awards for this year are the John S. Dekoff Awards for Graduate Teaching and Mentoring. I thought I would take a minute and share with you a brief history of John Dekoff and the awards that are named in his honor. John Dekoff received his bachelor's degree from the University of Michigan and his PhD in English from Western Reserve University. Professor Dekoff was a distinguished scholar of the works of the English poet John Milton he was highly regarded as a teacher and as a mentor of faculty and students. He also was a skilled administrator to whom the university entrusted some of the most daunting challenges. During his career, Professor Dekoff was Dean of the Cleveland College, Professor in Arts and Sciences, Professor of English, Chairman of the Department of English, Associate Dean of Arts and Sciences, Vice Provost, and served twice as Acting Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. In 1980, Vera Dekoff, John's wife, established the John F. Dekoff Endowment Fund for Distinguished Graduate Teaching in honor of her husband. In 2009, after consultation with the Graduate Student Senate, the School of Graduate Studies established a second set of awards named the John S. Dekoff Awards for Graduate Mentoring. These new annual awards offer recognition to faculty who are distinguished mentors of graduate students. In my estimation, the significance of the Dekoff Awards is determined by the manner in which winners are selected. The entire process from nomination to the selection of winners is conducted by a committee of the graduate stu uh, study students. Therefore, it's appropriate that we now hear from Ziana L. Ismali and Evelyn Evans, co-chairs of the Dekoff Selection Committee. Thank you. Thank you, Dean Rozak. My name is Ziana L. Ismaili, and I'm a PhD DMB candidate in the nursing uh, school and also one of the co-chairs of the Dekoff Committee. So um, before announcing the winners, First, I would like to acknowledge the remarkable role of uh, Rachel Bigley, who is uh, a professional di director at the graduate school and also Dickov committee advisor and counselor. Uh, Rachel's continuous uh, support and guidance was truly very helpful and helped us like in smooth transition to each process and also the final selection of the winners. Also, I would like to recognize uh, Ellen, who is my, uh, who's a co who co-chaired with me uh, this year. Uh, Ellen's leadership role was remarkable and helped me as a co-chair to deal with many, many challenges and also smooth coordinations of each selection process. Next, I would like also to acknowledge our amazing and out outstanding committee members. This year was special because the committee members were from diverse professions, departments and cultures. The diversity of the team uh, helped to bring up diverse cultural and also professional perspectives, which indeed helped to guide the selection of the final Dickoff Award winners. The Dickoff uh, Committee team is so excited to present the 2022 Dickoff Awards Award, uh, winners. Thank you, Ziana. Uh, I'm Ellen Evans, and I'm a PhD candidate in the biology department. I've had the pleasure of serving as a co-chair alongside Ziana this year. Uh, and I first just want to echo all of her acknowledgments of Rachel Begley, the DECOF committee, as well as the faculty that we interviewed as semi-finalists. Uh, working alongside Ziana was a very rewarding process as her leadership abilities, emphasis on inclusion, and positive outlook were necessary for this committee. This year, I have the pleasure of presenting the DECOF Teaching Awards to a pair of exceptional faculty members. Although this was quite a grueling process, I'm very thankful for the experience and simply the opportunity to meet such wonderful faculty members. The two recipients of this year's John S. DECOF Award for Excellence in Graduate Teaching are Dr. Jessica Kelly and Dr. Nathaniel Schreiner.
Jessica Kelly is a professor in the sociology department where she also serves as the director of the sociology graduate program. She exemplifies a teacher that is invested in her students' education and their well-being. She comes from a family of teachers, so it was quite a natural transition for her after earning her PhD. Dr. Kelly is able to take subjects such as high-level statistic courses and make them accessible for all students. She frequently ties current events into her coursework to make the material even more relevant for her students. As explained by one of her students, the first thing Dr. Kelly brings to the classroom is motivation. Dr. Kelly, um, sorry. Dr. Kelly brings motivation to the classroom regardless of one's background. She sets out with a positive mindset to help engage her students. When it comes to inclusion, she explained that students are typically trying to find representation and be seen in spaces they do not usually see themselves. Dr. Kelly serves to make this vision come to light for her graduate students. Congratulations, Dr. Kelly. Nathaniel Schreiner is an assistant professor in the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing. He expressed to us that teaching was something he always wanted to do, and given our conversations, I can attest to the fact that he's truly one of the most passionate professors. He strives to engage his students, set the context in terms of current events, and believes that students are in the classroom not just for a grade, but to really learn the course material, as well as learn about oneself. Making connections is one of Dr. Schreiner's main modes of teaching, whether it entails connecting with students, helping students connect to the material, and ultimately assisting students to connect with one another. One student noted that Dr. Schreiner is adamant about making sure questions are answered and that students are able to be present in a comfortable environment, regardless of their academic and personal backgrounds, while also taking into consideration such diversity. Congratulations, Dr. Schreiner. Dr. Schreiner and Dr. Kelly both embody empathy, which I believe is what makes a great teacher. I know that your students would agree the award for each of you is very well deserved. Congratulations again. Next, I will announce the two recipients of the John Dickoff Award for Excellence in Graduate Mon uh, Mentoring. I would like to congratulate Professors Karen Abbott and Professor uh, Bulexini Philip Pido. So, <laughs> Karen Abbott is a professor in the Department of Biology. Dr. Abbott mentioned that taking care of grad students is one of the single most important things we care we can do to keep our research communities vibrant and also healthy. Dr. Abbott has always been taught graduate students as individuals. Uh, there is no one right way to uh, complete the graduate degree to succeed in a field or to make use of one's training post-graduations. Her students stated that she is a creative thinker, supportive, caring, and also open to new ideas and concepts without forcing them. Dr. Abbott supports her student in networking with the other mentors that can facilitate their overall mentoring goals. Congratulations, Dr. Abbott. <laughs> Next, uh, Bulexini Filippido is an assistant professor in the uh, neuroscience department. Dr. Paula stated that her mentoring philosophy is centered around three key principles. First one is accessibility, clear communication, and empathy. She also has an open door policy in her lab, so each of her students knows that they can talk to her at any time. She also stated that 
She firmly believes that creating and accessing, or accepting, sorry, diverse, inclusive, and equitable environment for all our students is the most powerful way to move the scientific enterprise forward. Her students stated that Paula's greatest strength is her commitment and also involvement in her student day-to-day -day successes. She has an open door policy and is often found next to them at the bench talking about their experiments rather than behind a closed office door. Congratulations, Dr. Paula. The DECOF committee team would like to congratulate our 2022 DECOF award winners, and it was our honor to continue the tradition of John St. DECOF Award. Thank you so much. Thank you, Zayana and Ellen. Congratulations to all of our outstanding recipients. Please join me in one last round of applause. Before we go, I want to thank you for joining us today. Thanks to the students and faculty for their hard work and for the enrichment they have brought to the university community. Thank you for those who support them faculty, family, and friends. And a special th thank you to the staff in the School of Graduate Studies, Lynn Marie, Jesse, Rachel, Brandon, Natalie, Aaron, Bill, Jen, and Georgina. They contribute so much to make this event a success, and they work every day to make this a great environment for our students to, uh, to uh, succeed in their pursuit of graduate degrees. So thank you, staff. Please join us for the reception. Thank you.